Honors Math 2, Unit 10. I've picked four problems to remind you. The first thing I should remind you is that the five, one, two, three, four, five formulas that you'll be using are all here. I did not pick one of each. I just picked a few that I thought, oh, we better talk about these ones because I don't see uh, them on here. So I'm a, I picked 58 and 59 and then some from the other side as well. So the first off, the length of arc AB is 4 pi. What that means is, is that the distance around this arc is 4 pi centimeters long. That's what arc length is. Some people forgot arc length. Arc length is a part of that whole circle. So if we're thinking that it's part of the whole circle, then it must be some degree amount out of 360 degrees times by 2 pi r, which is the distance around <laughs> the other one around. There you go which is the distance around the entire circle, which is circumference, 2 pi r. And this is how many degrees out of 360. That's going to equal arc length. That's the formula we had in our notes back in the wind. Well, how many degrees is this thing? It's 45 degrees out of 360. And what we need to do is we need to figure out what r is. And we already know what the arc length is. It's 4 pi. So I'm setting up my equation, which is 445 divided by 360 times 2 pi r equals 4 pi. I'm just going to use the fraction button on my calculator. 45 over 360 reduces. This is the same thing as 1 eighth. Scoot this over so you could see it. Uh, 2 goes into 1 eighth, 1 fourth. If I divide by pi and divide by pi, and then I would want to times by 4 because it's dividing by 4 times by 4, and I'm getting that the radius is equal to 16 centimeters long for my answer. I would recommend plugging that in and seeing if it works. I'm sure if you did, you would get that. But the hard part, the reason why I chose this is because we talk about circumference, 2 pi r. It's not one of the formulas that's there. And how many degrees out of 360 is how we do arc length. Same thing goes with arc area of a sector. This isn't all the area of the whole circle. It's just part of the circle. Well, how much of the area of a sector? Pi r squared is a whole circle's area. How many degrees do you have out of 360 is the percentage of that area. So what is it? 210 divided by 360. Uh, I'm going to plug that into my calculator and see what that reduces to. It reduces to 7 twelfths. 7 twelfths times pi. And the radius here is 2 feet, 2 squared. So if I want to know what the area is, it's going to be 7 twelfths times pi times uh, 4 pi. Times 4 pi. Which comes out to 7 thirds pi. It does not tell me whether I should leave answer in terms of pi or round to the nearest decimal place. So I'm going to write my answer as 7 thirds pi uh, feet squared. It's the same thing as about 7.33 square feet. But you should be able to leave things in terms of pi for your final as well as switch to a decimal if necessary. I say that because I know some of the answers are in terms of pi and some are not. Yes, sir? Uh, for 58, you did 45 over 360 times 2 pi r. Yep. For 59, you only times by pi r squared. So why is it different from 
The biggest reason that this one is different from this one is this is talking about the area of the sector. We're talking about how much filling there is, whereas in 58, we're talking about the distance around the outside edge. We're not talking about the fill-in. Arc length is a distance. We're going to just measure the sidewalk on the outside. Here is how much concrete is there inside that circle patio type of thing. The other two that I have chosen for us to do, 63 on the other side. The reason why I chose this one is because it deals with a pyramid and it also deals with a slant height, the way they tried to trick you. A square base pyramid has a base edge of 18 and a slant height of 15, calculate the volume of the pyramid. Volume of a pyramid is one third the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is 18 times 18. That's what the, this big B is. Because it's a square. It says square base. But they don't give you the perpendicular height. They give you the slant height. They're hoping you're just going to plug in the 15. And make, make a mistake. But if you know that this thing is 18, then that means the distance from here to the exact middle would be a distance of 9 units. And the height, that perpendicular height, if you had that triangle inside, would be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to go h squared plus 9 squared is going to equal 15 squared. I'm going to subtract 81 from 225. Comes out to 144. And then square root, square root. And technically, there's a positive or a negative 12, but we're only going to use the positive value. So for the height, we have to use the perpendicular height. We're not going to fall for the trap when they give us a slant height. And so what we'll plug into our calculators is 1 third times 18 times 18 times 12. And you can double check me on this, but I'm getting 1296 cubic feet for my volume for this to that. Last example that I have for you is this one here, a regular hexagon, because I don't know if you remember the word apophthegm. I wanted to review that with you. A regular hexagon has an apothem. Hexagon has six sides. And it's regular, so it means all the sides are the same length. The apothem is the distance from the center perpendicular to a side. This is 15. And it has an area of 450 root 3 inches squared. And they want you to figure out what is the side length. Well, if you don't remember, we figured out what the area was of any regular shape by doing one half, the apothem, times the perimeter. One half, the apothem, times the number of sides. I think that was N. Times the side length which is S. So I'm changing the perimeter to the number of sides times the side length. And so now I'm going to replace a few of these things. The area is 450 root 3. The apothem is 15. The number of sides is 6 because it has a, it's a hexagon times by the side length s. Scoot that over just a little bit. Now if I want to get everything by itself, usually I simplify first. So I'm going to do half of 15 times 6. 0.5 times 15 times 6. I'm going to do that first just so I know what that is. 45s equals 450 root 3. I'm going to divide by 45 so I can know what that side length is. I probably could do that in my head. I think it's going to be 10 root 3.
and it is. The side length is 10 root 3, otherwise known as 17.3. Uh, which brings me to the point, some of your answers are going to be in radical form. And you kind of got to get used to doing both. Sometimes it's a decimal, most of the time in radical form because we expect you to know how to deal with radicals. So I'm just doing outside, divides into outside, 45 goes into 450, 10 root 3. Uh, numbers on the outside cannot mix with numbers on the inside in radical form. That's where I'm going to stop your notes.